Good morning and uh, greetings from Houston, Texas. This is uh, our office here in uh, Houston, Texas, and uh, we've been uh, working a little bit this morning. And uh, Brother Marcus is on the phone. He's uh, talking to his uh, wife, and uh, I'm drinking a diet root beer. Marcus doesn't like root beer, and uh, we didn't get that much sleep last night. Marcus, did you get a lot of sleep? He, he's probably on his phone again. So, but uh, I didn't get a, a lot of sleep last night because uh, I'm still in that. Uh, my mind thinks I'm in uh, Finland, and uh, Finland right now is uh, around six o'clock at night, and uh, here it's eleven in the morning, and. Uh, we're getting ready for a shower and uh, we're gonna go fellowship today. We're gonna get some uh, things done and uh, uploading the widow blow from yesterday. And uh, it's good to be here. It's a nice day outside. And today you will see when we go out to have Mexican food. And uh, we, we don't have a plan for today, so. We don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna see a little bit of uh, Houston and the suburbs of Houston and stuff like that, so you know where we're at. It's uh, totally different than uh, England and uh, other places. I think every place is unique. Yes, uh, we're unique. You're unique because God created you to be the one you are, and He created me to be the one I am. And when Jesus moves inside of us, we become something supernatural. So. Uh, Today I really feel uh, that uh, there's something going on in the atmosphere for this trip. Tomorrow night we're going to be at uh, Second Christian Church in Houston, Texas. And I just have a feeling that miracles will happen. I don't know why, but I know that Jesus is a miracle-making Lord and He's our Savior. So, welcome to today's Life in Him Widow Blog. My name is Thomas J. Back. Right now we're here in. Uh, yes. In uh, Houston and uh, Teresa picked us up. We're gonna go to Papa's and uh, eat barbecue. Mm -hmm. And uh, the weather is nice. And uh, 84. So uh, we're blessed, and uh, we are praying for protection over this trip in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Maybe I have to tell you that a couple of years ago. Uh, There's a phone ringing. There's a phone ringing. We we run into a small accident with Teresa, but uh, we we'll get back to that later. Sister Teresa took us to a place, a barbecue place, called Papa's Barbecue. In Sweden, Papa is father, so it's uh, actually Daddy's Barbecue in Swedish. It was a great meal, and uh, I like the American kitchen. I took baby back ribs, Marcus took uh, the plate of today, and uh, we had a great time together with our sister Teresa Sutherland. After that we drove back home to the house, and uh, here's a greeting for our brother in Canada, Michael Bull Roberts, we love you very much. Hey Michael, Pontus just gave me a book, and it reads winner on it, and I believe you are a winner. Hopeful to be on your bunch, following Christ. Thanks a lot, I will read it, and we'll get back to you as soon as I've read it, and give you some feedback on the book, but I think it's going to be about a winner. See you guys. So here we are in the car uh, pickup truck as uh, rednecks. Oh, a black pickup truck. A black pickup truck.
pickup truck and uh, we're on our way to Bradicelli and from there we're gonna go uh, to uh, the Thousand Hills Ministry and uh, see the homeless people so it's gonna be an exciting night. Houston, Texas is another big city. Skyline is beautiful but uh, there's also another side to the town and that's all the homeless people we got to uh, go and visit uh, Thousand Hills ministry a ministry who does church for the homeless every day 365 days in the year it is good to see this uh, people serve as it motivates me to do more for those who nothing have. It's like I've been to Africa, I've been to Houston. There are similar places in Houston as in Africa. Of course, we can't compare America with Africa, but there's still people in need who need our help. The most important thing is that the gospel is preached so people can come to Jesus, get to the knowledge that He is Lord and He wants us good. And it's wonderful to see this ministry. Pastor Dave Hill uh, has been doing this for years and every day they have uh, different people, different organizations providing the food for the homeless. I've been uh, coming here almost every year since I started to come to Houston. So some of the people are uh, people I remember from the before, they remember me and it uh, feels good to talk to them and it feels good that they still come to church and that they uh, they are still alive. Some of them, uh, or most of them, they uh, are somewhere else. Some of them, they take uh, this uh, thing with Jesus, they take it for real and uh, they start to believe, they start to pray, they start to press into Him and they get a changed life, they get a job, they get an apartment and a total, total new life in Jesus. Then there's that other side that uh, might no longer be with us. They just disappear. So what this ministry is doing is a very important work to help those people that uh, are nothing in the eyes of this world. So I thank God for uh, being able to be part of uh, all these ministries here in uh, the United States of America and uh, do what I can to be a blessing. It's like this, God blesses us so we can be a blessing to others. Where there is a need there is also a real cry out for God. And this night there were uh, at least 35 people who came forward for uh, prayer and to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. The biggest miracle of them all is uh, Jesus and salvation but uh, Jesus when he moves on the inside he wants us to be well he wants us to be healed he wants us to be delivered so the good thing is to start with giving your life to Jesus Christ as then you become a child of God and he will take good 
care of you. This is our first day in uh, Houston. I think we all were uh, a little bit shocked about what we saw. On the other side we had uh, big buildings, limousines, and in the middle of all that we had poor people, homeless people, and uh, who can help them if uh, we're not helping them. Another wonderful day is over. So far so good. And um, we had an excellent lunch. And now we have the cocktail of the day. It's called salsa mixed together, whatever. And eating some Mexican food. Uh, what I found out in Texas, gas is more important than food. We saw in every corner a gas station but no place to go.